you will notice the change happening for yourself. As you can see, the background to start off with has changed. The logo has changed. Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and today we're going to be turning Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version, into Minecraft PC. So this is all done with the creation created by Chris Art X, and I'll leave a link to his Twitter and the download in the description. Believe me, you've seen a couple of good add-ons in the past, but this is definitely the best one that he has taken the time to release. So if you do enjoy these videos and you want to see some more showcases from me, then all you gotta do is be sure to hit that like button. Also, I gotta mention it, I do have a skin pack available on the Minecraft Marketplace. If you just go to the Minecraft store and you type in Ekadal onesies, you will find it. It's available for iOS, Android, Windows 10, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. So what I wanna do is I just wanna go through a couple of the menus, which you've probably seen a thousand times if you play Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version. They're boring, they're plain. It's time to simplify it, but also what I want to do is I want to jump into a game and show you the menu interfaces and how different it has changed in this specific add-on. So from my understanding, the things that have changed and the things that you'll notice a change in today's video is to do with the blast furnace. It's to do with the cartography table, the loom, it's to do with the smoker, it's to do with the stone cutter, OG Minecraft Pocket players, do you remember this? And also to do with the village trading as well. Basically, we're gonna be transferring all of these into the Minecraft PC version. So I wanna show you this from the start. So what you're gonna to have to do is download two things. They're both down below in description. If you go to settings and you go to global resources, once you've downloaded them, you will have more Java UI and basic UI. Now, I wanna inform you, you need to enable both of them before you back out. Because if you enable just one and I backed out, it can mess up your settings. So make sure you enable both of them. Once they are both enabled, you will notice the change happening for yourself. As you can see, the background to start off with has changed. The logo has changed to the Minecraft PC version and the actual buttons as well, but it gets better and better. This is absolutely fantastic. So it works for Minecraft beta, but it also works for the default version, which I think at the current moment is version 1.10. I absolutely love it. So we're gonna go to options because of course, this is the options, very, very similar to the Minecraft PC version. You've got the basic settings, and if you guys don't know, the developers are kind of in the process of changing the menus anyway. I don't know if they're going to look like the PC version, but they are currently going to change them. Everything has been changed down to the render distance. You can change it to whatever you want. Let's just say we'll change it to 32 in today's video. Max frame rate, I don't know if this does anything at all. Uh, your graphics, again, you can change this from fast to fancy. Smooth lighting, you can change it to fast to fancy. You can have the hide hood, hide hood on or off. So obviously you won't be able to see your buttons on the bottom or your hand. Uh, the GUI scale modifier, so this changes how you see the game. And for me specifically, I usually have it as minus one or minus two on my uh, Apple iPad or on my Android device on the Windows 10 version, I keep it to zero, but you've got brightness. I don't think this makes any difference. I think these are just more for the aesthetic kind of look. Full screen, oh okay, oof. Full screen on or off, okay. <laughs> I didn't realize that was a thing. Uh, UI, you can change it to the classic or the pocket edition version. I like to use the classic specifically, so we're gonna be using the, the, the classic one. Render clouds on or off, change safe screen. It's literally got a bunch of settings that you can mess around with, and I think it is absolutely brilliant. And that's just one of the changes available. What about if we go to store? What's the store look like? Ah, okay, so the store hasn't changed. Achievements, that has not changed. Editing your skin. It's somewhat similar to the Minecraft PC version, um, but we're gonna stick with this doggo one today. But you get to see the skin. So it's changed the background to look like the, the dirt blocks. And if you click on play, this is where things do look very, very similar to the Minecraft PC version. Now if I click on this, it will automatically start. It's not click on it and then click to play. If we go across, this is something I really do like. So at the top, you will see realms. You've got your realms, invites. You've got the Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock official servers. You've got in PvP, Hive, Lightboat, Mineplex. I think one of them is missing. Uh, Cubecraft, I don't think it's available in the beta form. But look at it, it looks absolutely brilliant. And if we click on this world, what will happen is you'll see the square 
Very similar to the Minecraft PC version. Now I'm really curious, right? Oh my god, look at the menus. They're so much cleaner. So this is obviously the creative inventory. Oh my god. It's got a better search as well. So let's just search for a shield. I'm kind of curious if they've changed the shield interface. No. Okay, so on the, the PC version, your shield would be there. I don't even know if it's possible to change that. I just thought it would be, it'd be cool to check. Uh, but the, the, the buttons, they're laid out at the bottom. I think if we hit exit as well, yeah, the settings are changed. And something I did notice with this, if we do forward slash time set day, as you guys can see, everything's in black. It's outlined. It's so much easier to see. It makes life so much easier. So we do, uh, what are these ones? These are, I don't even know what they are. Ah, okay, so we can check these. Forward slash time set day. You can see there. If we do forward slash give at P, and then you've got all the items. It's just so much easier to see. To, to see sorry, let's give myself a baked underscore potato. Because who doesn't love the baked potato? So yeah, um, I did show you at the start of the video the whole interfaces to do with the likes of your blast furnace all the way down to the stone cutter and even the villager. You're gonna notice a big difference here. So, but let's go through the creative inventory because this is brilliant. I'm kind of curious though. Can you control and click? No. So you have to get rid of these uh, one by one. Okay. So something that the, the the bedrock version doesn't have is the whole control and then click on this and it gets rid of all your items. You have to do forward slash clear. Um, well, this is so much cleaner, dude. It's so much cleaner and it's so much easier to use because on the default version of Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version, there's just so many blocks and it's kind of all over the place. It's it's kind of really easy to use here as well. It's It's been put in an absolute perfect order and I think it is so clean. And for as long as I can use this, I am definitely going to be using this on Minecraft Windows 10, which is what I'm using today. Again, this is available for the whole Bedrock community. So hopefully you remembered what it looked like at the start. Oh my God, wait. Oh, you can actually have the recipe book here. So this shows you the items. I think the items that you can put inside the blast furnace. Yeah, it is. I did not know you could put all of these items inside the blast furnace. I did not know you could do that. Unless it's not possible. Either way, I've got a couple of things inside of here. We've got some of these. What happens when we do this? So if we click on that in there, and that goes in there. It just it just smelts it, but if maybe, may, hold on, maybe, you, wait, oh, it shows you food and all that as well. Maybe you just wanted to hide it and keep it like the Minecraft PC version. You can simply hide it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I'm a big fan of the PC uh, UI in general. I think it looks a lot better compared to the, the Pocket Edition version. It's the same for this one. So if you noticed the other one before, there was a big box up here, then you kind of had this thing. This is the PC version. It's simple, it's simplified, and it's really easy to use. I, I gotta try and remember how to use this though. What happens if we put that inside of there? Uh, okay, so we've got a locked map. Why don't we put that inside of there with paper? Ah, it makes the map bigger. Makes the map bigger again. And bigger again. Can we make it even bigger though? So as you can see, it works perfectly as well. After testing, it works absolutely perfectly. So moving over to the Loom UI, this, I think the menu on the bedrock is kind of over here. So for this one, it's kind of all crammed in. I think it's the same on Minecraft uh, console edition as well, but it's just a lot easier to use. It's, it just makes sense. So what's this one? Flower charge. So do we click? The oh, okay. It's because I'm using black dye. Let's change the dye. We'll go black banner, white, and we will go with this one. So as you can see, it's got it there. It's so easy. And the fact that these work, it, it makes it so much better. I know I'm really happy about this. Let's just do forward slash clear. But I never thought that things like this would be possible. And things on this version of Minecraft are only going to get better. So the next one we have here, this is very similar to the previous one, which is the Blast Furnace. Usually when I play Minecraft though, I don't have the recipe book there. I usually get rid of it and it works perfectly as well. It's great. And so, so is this as well. It's melting a lot faster. One thing I've noticed though, is if you do close this and then you come out of it and you open it back up, the menu does come back. It kind of doesn't stay. That's one thing that maybe could be introduced in the future by the developer of this. Either way, it's still pretty cool. And then you've got the stone cutter as well. Um, this is like the, I don't, I don't really know what it's, I can't remember what it's like on the bedrock version, but you can obviously smelt, uh, sorry, craft things a lot easier. The stairs, you can craft things a lot easier. So the trading, uh, oh yeah, okay. So I do, do, I do notice a difference with this. So this has also only recently changed for the PC version and they've got this introduced to this already, which I think is pretty smart. So we do a little bit of trading here. Let's click on this guy. Oh wait, 
If I hold an emerald, oh, he wants to trade. Okay, hello there, sir. Let's trade with you. So we click on the paper, we can buy the emeralds. Uh, more paper, we can buy more emeralds. Click on this, we can buy some more, and we unlock some more as well. I'm just really happy that it works. Oh, item frames. That must be a new trade, because I've not seen that before. I kind of like it. At least he's kind of happy to trade, though. There's a bunch of XP in there. Thank you. I'll take the XP. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything else I can trade. I think you have to, like... I don't think you can trade with them so often anymore in Minecraft. That's one thing. But overall, guys, I think this is absolutely brilliant. And if you're ever looking to turn Minecraft Pocket Edition into Minecraft PC, this is definitely the thing to do. And everything works... So simple as well. There is a download in the description. Again, a big shout out to Chris Artex because without him, this would not be possible. Please be sure to hit that like button. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Bye.